What's going on, everyone? It's DV, and today I'm going to be showing you all the different relic locations. Yep, that shiny relic that everyone's looking for. If you didn't know about this, it gives you basically increased chance to get shiny pets while you're hatching. If you don't know what shiny pets are? Let me show you some real quick. I've got a few, okay? So, like this one right here, this is a shiny rift dragon. Pretty sweet, dude. It has like this little like sheen. See how it's like, whoosh, whoosh. yeah, it does that. And I mean, they're just more valuable. They're special. They're more unique. Yeah, on that waste of time. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's still fun to get them all. So there are 50 of these relics. Before I jam into this, please do me a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Now, I'm just going to use free cam just because it's going to be way easier. On exception, a couple of these, we have to use some. Uh, we have to actually go to the mini games. But there are these relics located in this world here. It's like the various zones. There's some in mini games. And then there's some in the trading plaza. There's three in the trading plaza. I'm going to show you them all right now so i'm going to show you the main ones that are in the current zone and then i'm going to show you the ones that are you know obviously elsewhere so this is the first one this is just to the right of the start of the area just go to this first bush here in zone one there's another one right here just to the right of the like the game sign in zone one right there finally there's another one over here if you go to the social rewards area it is right there right behind it boom easy easy next area you're gonna go to is zone three it's gonna be over here and it's gonna be left of the free diamonds see free diamonds right here He's just poking out right there in the bush. So head over to free diamonds and go in there. Next one is going to be next to the obby over here. See classic obby. So just look for that entrance and then you're going to go right behind it. There's your next one right there. Next you're going to care about is zone five right here. See to the left of potions. It's right there. It's right there, man. You can't miss it. Yep. So left to the potions. The next one is going to be next to this windmill here. You can see it's just sitting in the box or crate right in there. And then um, if you go to the next zone, it's going to be right inside the crack of this fence right there. Boom. He's just hiding. So right behind the flowers on the right side of the fence, you'll see the little sparkles coming out. Next zone is going to be eight. And you're going to see right near the waterfall. It's just right there. It's just taking a bath, okay? It's taking a bath in the waterfall. You're gonna wanna like pause as you go, by the way. If you're following along, just pause as you go. So there's no relics in these next two zones. You're gonna skip on over to this next area here. So the one with like these like weird looking houses. Um, it's right here. You can't miss it. It's just on the right side here, right when you enter the area. This is zone number 11. If you're curious, if you have teleport unlocked already. Next zone is gonna be zone 12. And this one actually has two of them, okay? We're going to start on the one on the right side here. And you see the upgrade potions. Just to look to the left of that. And it's going to be right there behind this gravestone. And then the next one's going to be inside this fence on the left side. And you're going to see it. It's right there. Not hard to find, right? Next, we're going to go over to zone number 14, Enchanted Forest. There's two of them in here. The first one's going to be to the left. So as soon as you enter the zone, it's going to be to your left right here. And it's right behind this little blocky looking thing. Kind of looks like a bush right there. And then the other one's going to be over here inside this little log. So just grab that one. It's again, Enchanted Forest, zone number 14. So if you want to jump over to the jungle, come over here. Um, you'll see to the left of the jungle obby. Right above this gate here is the pod just hanging out to the left of this monkey. It's adorable. But yeah, right here, right above the vines. There you go. Now you need to go inside the obby. So we're going to go in the obby obby right now and we got to do the actual obby so we got to complete all this by the way there is a um a separate thing i'll show you at the end of this video on how to do the tower thing so you can get that achievement unlocked um i'm not going to dedicate a whole video to it it's pretty troll there's not much content to it um it's just something you should do because you know everyone's got to do it it's an achievement worth doing just gotta wait for this rock to fall there you go. We're going to chase it. Go into this little outlet. As soon as it passes, just chase it down. You can kind of like just squeeze in right here so it can't get you. Run down. You're going to go behind this little spike. There you go. Chase it down. You can kind of hide on this corner again. There you go. And then just hook a left. You got to beat this gauntlet with all the axes, of course. This is one of the easier obbies. It's not too bad. All right. So you can see we just completed the axes to the right of this. Instead of going straight to the rewards, go to the right right here into this little outlet. And you're just going to kind of wander through here. And you'll see it's right there. Boom. 
Got it. By the way, um, your shiny odds do increase every five that you collect. All right, so you can skip this next area here. This is area 19. There's nothing with the merchant, but there are two near the daycare. This is zone number 20 if you're trying to teleport. And it is, there's one in this bucket right here, right behind the daycare. And then there's another one over here in another bucket. So just to the right. So this is the fish area, right? Or the water area. Next zone, go right here and it's in this bucket. All right, so for the next zone, which is zone number 21, if you go in the water and just go to the right here, you'll see at the very top of this coral, the yellow coral, there it is right there. So you can't miss it. It's the second batch of coral on the right. Then you're gonna go over here. You're gonna skip this zone and then see the Atlantis entrance here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna swim up to this left column. You can kind of see the you know glowing light right there. You're gonna swim up to that and there you go. So just swim up above that. There is one inside the Atlantis mini game as well. So when you come through here, it's just straight directly to your right. We're going to show you that right now. All right, we're going to the Atlantis. Then this one's just directly to your right behind this rock. Just go and click on that. Boom, we got it. You don't actually have to do the mini game. The next zone here is just to the left. So this is zone number 24. If you're teleporting, it is right there, right above the entrance. There's also one directly inside that tunnel. So there's your two inside zone 24. They're pretty much right next to each other. Really easy, right? The next one here, we just have one. So see the rebirth area. You're going to be going to the left here, right behind this gate um, near the little tiki guy. So he's just tucked away right in that corner. So again, you face the rebirth area. It's right there. Next zone is number 26, and there's two of them in here. They're both kind of in the same type of spot. So see these little gold piles? Um, so there's the fruits machine. Left side, right side, you can see them right here. But here's one right there and the gold stack on the left. And then there's a gold stack on the right. There's another one right there. Really easy peasy, you know, like those. In zone 27, there's one just right inside this boat right here. So you can head into zone 27. There's one right there. And then we need to go inside the fishing game for another. Once you're inside the fishing zone, just go to the left here behind the fishing market. And you'll see this glowing looking starfish. It's just right under that. Boom. Next, we're going to go over here to zone number 30 to where the dig site is. There's one under this fossil to the right of the dig site entrance. You'll see it's right behind here. We're just going to click on it right now. Kind of tricky with the camera. You might have to just run back there. There it is. Boom. We got that one. Then you're gonna go inside the dig site. This one's pretty easy. So just go on here. You're gonna have to cross the blocks, this, these dirt blocks where you usually mine. You can see it's already glowing right here. So just go all the way straight across and then look inside the bucket. There it is. So that's the dig site. Next zone, we go to the pyramid area. And this one's real easy. It's just immediately to your right. So see the pyramid entrance? Boom, got that one. Like I said, just on the right side of that pyramid obby. Inside the area 33 here, it's like a ghost town, like kind of like a country ghost town kind of thing. I forgot the name of it. Um, this one is going to be to the left of this old building, right inside the window. There it is. Next with number 34, you're going to have the Grand Canyon one. It's right over here, just hanging off to the right. So inside, it's like at the very end on the right side right there, just hanging off the cliff. You can skip this one. And then there's one in here. This is the mountain one, which is also the number 36. And you can see it's just hanging here under the tree. So just click on that. It looks like a little ornament. It's in the back left corner. After that, you have a couple inside the snow zone. This one is number 37. You can see there's one right behind this first cabin here next to the snowman right there right behind that first cabin and then right here you can see it's on the rooftop of this one so see the lucky egg sign it's going to be on the top of the roof of that cabin right next to that sign you get to skip this ice area where the ice obby is just skip that all together and then there's one in here you can already see it over here to the back right there's one next to the snowman so you just hold on to it so again this is the advanced merchant to the right side here and then there's one inside the ski town that one is over here it's going to be behind that. So go to the very back of that and you'll find it in there. In this area, you can already see it with the waterfalls. This is zone number 41. You can already see the outline there. And it is just at the very end here inside the waterfall. So just grab that. This next one is ice and fire or hot and cold. I think it's called ice and fire. But this zone is number 42. You're going to see on the left side, it's in, actually inside the ice. Just barely sticking out. You click that. I already clicked that one. I tried not to collect these. I just kind of took note of where they're at. And then I'm just showing you where they're at now. And then I'm collecting them afterwards. They kind of get ghosted and it's hard to see. Next one, number 43 is on the right side in this little pool of lava. See, it's got like a little, it's got, it's like a little volcano kind of set up here. So it's just past the ice and fire zone, just right there. And the little lava pool. This next zone is called obsidian. This one's over here. So you see this tunnel It's just to the right of that tunnel right there. 
This next one is number 45, zone 45. You can see chest rush and there's the paw, the little relic right there to the left of it. And then you go to the next one. This one is number 46. And you'll see in this first left skull, it's just hanging out in his mouth. That's pretty easy. This is like that back corner one. So right after this chest zone right here, if you go to the next zone where there's rare potions, just to the left of that, you're going to see right over here it's just hanging off the, the side of the cliff or fence area so just kind of look over here boom right there you can skip the next two zones there's nothing in these and then you go over to final current stage for this update and there's two of them in here the first one's going to be over here you see this um i forgot what these are called but it's going to be right up there on the top left and then there's another one over here so see the rebirth you're going to look to the right column of this and it's going to be right behind that right there there you have it Finally, we have the trading plaza. So we got to go back to the castle here. So you're going to want to uh, teleport back to number three. I'm going to show you the trading plaza. To get to the trading plaza, you just have to go into the castle. If you don't have the castle key, you can't come in here yet. So you're not going to be able to complete this until you get the castle key. Although you get that pretty quick. I forgot what rank it is. But you get that pretty early. So let's go over to trading. First one you're going to do is as soon as you enter that portal to your right, you're going to come over here. You're going to see one right next to the pillar here. So if you need to, you can face the portal here, the X portal and to the left there. Then you're going to go over here to the right towards the VIP area. Stand over the bridge. You're going to just look under it. And there it is. There's another one. And then the final one is going to be over here. So see this fan art board here? Just kind of stroll over here to the back. Boom. Got all of them. So that's pretty much all of the relics. If you had any trouble, let me know in the comments below. Oh, man, I almost forgot. I, I told you I was going to show you something else, right? I was going to show you something else. So if you go to your achievements and then right here, it says, is it real? So click on that and it's going to say falling down. I already completed this one. We don't really know how to do this yet, but we're assuming you have to reach the top of the tower, which seems like it's forever and ever and ever. You might have to macro that one. My guess is you probably have to do like 12 hours of it, maybe a thousand floors plus. That's kind of troll, dude, because that's got to be a really, really hard thing to do because you're getting a free huge. So you might have to like grind that endlessly. Let me know in the comments below if anyone figured out how to get that. I'm really curious, dude. Huge angel dog that means he went to heaven all right so the hint is you're just gonna keep going but there's a bunch of ways of doing this um i'm just gonna show you the most common way that everyone does it so what you're gonna want to do is go over to jungle so come over here to jungle obby go in we're gonna do um actually shout out to butter butter's the one that uh gave me this one right here so you jump in and hit home at the same time once you hit it's gonna teleport you. you're gonna start falling you're gonna get your achievement immediately and then you're going to teleport to this place and it says stairway to heaven now remember it did say is it real or is this real and it showed an angel dog so clearly you got to go to the heaven to be able to get it my assumption is this is hours and hours of grinding but from what i've been told this just like is an infinite loop some people have gone like hours and hours i, I think was the lclc maybe did eight hours plus or something i'm not sure if that was him i think one of my members from my community said someone wasted like eight plus hours you'll get these little text messages that says like i wonder if there's anything at the top um and the more you go and climb this the worse it gets dude so at least you get the achievements you know like let me know in the comments below if you get the huge angel dog though like if you really waste eight hours now i have done crazy grinds like that before although i think it would be just as easy just to macro this like I can, I'm sure you could just tiny task this for like 10 hours. Um, as long as they don't, it says keep going. As long as it doesn't disconnect you because they keep doing these updates that keep disconnecting everyone. But macroing this would probably be the way to go. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, happy grinding. Peace.